Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. Here are some updates for you. Pangasius prices in Vietnam have been showing signs of strengthening over the past two weeks. However, at the moment prices are stable at 105 to 115 US dollars per kilogram Vietnam. This is to the farms. The State Bank of Vietnam has appointed five trade banks to make priority loans for Pangasius farmers. A cap has been put on the interest rate of 11% and banks are instructed to restructure loans and extend 24 months to customers who are having difficulty paying their current loans. Further, provided the farmers have a feasible production plan, their old debt will not prevent new borrowing. This is just one step Vietnam has made to support the Pangasius industry. And now, on to part two of a report on the North Atlantic cod and haddock. Last week, we focused on Atlantic cod and the proposed 2013 quota of 940,000 metric tons, suggested by the International Council for the Exploration of the Sea. The quota, if approved by the Joint Norwegian-Russian Fisheries Commission, will be a 237,000 metric ton increase over the 2011 quota. This week, we will focus on the Northeast Atlantic haddock, a species also governed by the Joint Norwegian-Russian Fisheries Commission. The 2012 North Atlantic haddock quota is 318,000 metric tons, up 15,000 tons from 2011. Unlike Atlantic cod, the ICES is not expected to recommend significant changes to the haddock quota. The haddock raw material pricing is lower than last year, both from Norway and Russia. Russian raw material prices are down $300 per metric ton, while Norwegian prices are down $500 a metric ton. Lower raw material prices have resulted in very good prices on finished products. Fillets are down 30 cents a pound and Lloyds are down 25 cents a pound versus prices this time last year. Lower prices have helped open new markets for the species and processors report their inventories are moving. Due to overcapacity, buyers had 48 weeks production delays over the summer months and up to 16 weeks in the early fall of 2011. Currently, production is four weeks from order to shipping on haddock with no indications plants are becoming overscheduled on this species. And remember, if, you're, if you have comments or suggestions on topics you'd like to hear on future webcasts, email us at tradexfoods.com or tweet us at tradexfoods. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.